and I just wanted to give you a, uh, a little video that I find a lot of questions on. Uh, I think some of the most misdiagnosed things for the Ford Power Stroke 6.7 to 7.3 uh, for sure is definitely full. So with that being said, we've got a couple of 6.7 Power Strokes on the stand right now and wanted to show you why the front cover is the most misdiagnosed uh, leak on the Power Stroke engine. Uh, a lot of times turbo pedestal, uh, the turbo pedestal is kind of the integrated system is a little bit different uh, than predecess predecessors or, or years gone by. Uh, the way that the turbocharger sits in the valley is a little bit unique with coolant running in it. Uh, but they uh, have drilled a hole in the front of the engine for the 6.7 and many times it's misdiagnosed that the front cover is actually leaking when, when really what's happening is you've got an oil leak in the valley of the motor and it's draining down. Come on in and I'll show you what we've got here. So if you look at this hole in the valley, there's a nice pocket right behind your CP4 pump where your fuel pump would be. And this cavity allows for fuel or it allows for oil or coolant or whatever it might be uh, to just kind of co congregate in this area. And, um, uh, and anyways, what happens is because it stays here, uh, it'll actually fill up to the point where it will leak through that little hole in the front that you see that's drilled there. Now Ford does that and they've done that on the 6.7s and they've done that on the 7.3s uh, to keep this valley from being a, a, a hazard uh, and to get the fluid uh, out of it. So they drill the hole and the hole actually goes through the front cover. I'll show you on this other end. You can see the cavity from the front. Here's the hole that's cross drilled. It's actually missing the whole front cover and it'll actually leak all the way down and it looks like it would be this gasket when in all actuality, it's not. The fluid's coming from up to the top of the engine, going through this hole and leaking down. Now that's on the 6.7, and uh, let me show you one on the 7.3. Okay, so now we're looking at, this is the front of the 7.3 block, of course this is the rear. Now the way it's sitting on the engine stand is the way that it actually sits in the, in the engine uh, bay itself. Uh, most of the time what happens is, is uh, it's nose high on the installation. That's typically the way the engine's mounted. So anything that would be trapped here uh, tends to obviously run backwards. Now, you can see International put a hole right in the back of the block. Now, well, that's great because that causes more trucks to be misdiagnosed for a rear main seal that's actually leaking. Because it's really tricky, if you look at it, the hole goes in here and then it trails down. But keep in mind, the bell housing's on the outside and bolted in this area here. So the guy really can't see the rear main seal leaking because the transmission's in the way. They always misdiagnose this and almost never do I ever see any power stroke engine with a rear main seal leak. It's very, very rare that you ever see 6.4, 6 liter, 7.3, 6.7. They just don't leak. They've got a really good design. However, they're always misdiagnosed on the 7.3. It's typically the oil from the, uh, the turbo either here or obviously the high pressure oil pump or the lines. There's a lot of oil on a 7.3 that's happening on the top and uh, that tends to accumulate uh, in the valley of the motor. And um, anyways, when that happens, again, it just runs downhill and it creates a, uh, a leak that's not, not actually there. It makes, it's kind of a, uh, an illusion. And, uh, so anyways, those are some things to keep in mind if you've got a leak on your 6.7 or your